Hi friends and welcome. Today we are talking all about the fertility dictionary. Here's the thing, in the fertility world, we use a lot of acronyms. And today I asked my friends, your fertility doctors all over to help join me in this special project. Hi friends, welcome back. Today, we're going over the fertility dictionary. In the fertility world, there are so many acronyms. It can often be really confusing to understand what your friends or other fertility warriors or your doctor is even talking about. What do these things mean that we use all the time? So today, we're wrapping out National Infertility Awareness Week, and I asked some of my friends, your fertility doctors from all over, to help join me in this special project so we can share with you the fertility dictionary. I'm gonna roll through them, just reading out loud like I would the dictionary. Here we go. AF, ant flow, also known as your period. AFC, antral follicle count. This is how many small follicles you see on ultrasound, and this is a marker of ovarian reserve, or how many eggs you have. AMA, advanced maternal age. You guys know one of my least favorite ones, but this is describing any woman who is 35 or older and trying to get pregnant or pregnant. AMH. AMH is anti-mullerian hormone. AMH is a marker of ovarian reserve. The more eggs you have remaining, the higher your AMH. ART, assisted reproductive technology. This is any of the fancy stuff that we do in the lab that assists you in getting pregnant, like IVF. BBT, basal body temperature. BBT is a fertility awareness method where you track your temperature every single day with a very special thermometer, waiting to see that progesterone rise that indicates ovulation. BC, birth control, usually referring to the birth control pills. BD, the big day, also sometimes called the baby dance or the big deed. One of those things means this is the day you gotta get it done. BFN, big fat negative. You have a BFN on a month where you take a pregnancy test and it is a no go. BFP, on the other end, we love the big fat positive. That is that positive pregnancy test that you have been waiting for. CD, cycle day. Usually you see this like CD1, cycle day one, or you ovulate it around CD14, but it is referring to the day of your period that you're talking about. CMM, cervical mucus monitoring. This is another method of fertility awareness. This is a way you can track your ovulation by detecting your cervical mucus. DE, donor eggs. Donor eggs are eggs from another woman, usually a younger woman or a woman who is not in ovarian failure, that you use to get pregnant. DPT, days post transfer. Transfer is the day in an IVF cycle where you put an embryo back into the body, and DPT is the number of days you are after that transfer. DPO, days past ovulation. Similarly, like the number of days post transfer, the number of days post ovulation is helpful in determining if it is too early to take a pregnancy test or not. DTD, do the deed. Very similar to the BD, this is the day to get it done. E2. E2 is estradiol. That is the estrogen that is made from the ovaries and the kind that we can track on blood work. So you see us talk about your E2 levels during a cycle if we're watching it rise during IVF. EDD. EDD is your estimated due date or your estimated delivery date. It is the day that your baby is coming. Yay! ER. ER is often used to depict egg retrieval. Egg retrieval is when we go in and we take those eggs out of your body in an IVF cycle. ERA. ERA is an endometrial receptivity analysis test. This is the test that can sometimes be done to check the receptivity of your uterus before you do an embryo transfer. ET. Embryo transfer. Embryo transfer is when you put that embryo back inside the uterus. Women are wide awake from this and it's usually a painless process. EWCM. Egg white cervical mucus. If you are following your cervical mucus for CMM and you get EWCM, this is the day of ovulation. Cervical mucus, if you pull your fingers apart, this means it's egg white and stretchy, and this is the day of highest estrogen levels or ovulation. FET, frozen embryo transfer. Now more commonly done than just an ETN cycle, but really they mean the same thing, but specifically the embryo has been frozen and is now going to be thawed for use. FSH, FSH is one of my favorite hormones, follicle stimulating hormone. FSH is made from the brain and communicates to the ovary that it's time to grow an egg or a follicle preparing for ovulation. GC is a gestational carrier. A gestational carrier is also sometimes known as a surrogate, and this is a woman who carries a child for somebody else. 
HCG is human chorionic gonadotropin. HCG is the pregnancy hormone. Also, sometimes people say we're getting a beta done, and this is all the same thing because the subunit of HCG that we can check in the lab is the beta HCG subunit. It's a blood test. HPT, home pregnancy test. And HPT is that little test that you pee on a stick to see if you're pregnant. HSG, hysteroselpingogram. This is often also known as the x-ray dye test, and this is a test that we use to evaluate your internal anatomy, such as the inside of your uterus and your fallopian tubes. IC, intercourse, you know what that one means. It's time. ICSI, also known as ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection. This is a process during IVF where we take a sperm and we inject it into each egg. IF, infertility. Infertility warriors, you know this one. IUI, intrauterine insemination. IUI can be used to help overcome mild male factors or for couples who need to use donor sperm. IVF is in vitro fertilization. IVF is when your eggs are taken out of your body and fertilized in the lab or in vitro and embryos are created. LH, luteinizing hormone. This is the hormone that stimulates progesterone production in the second half or the luteal phase of the cycle. It is also the hormone that in high surge levels triggers ovulation. LMP, last menstrual period. LMP always is referring to the first day of full flow of your last period. So what was your LMP is what was the first day of full flow of your last menstrual period. LPD, luteal phase defect. The luteal phase is the second half of the menstrual cycle after ovulation. And LPD reflects concern that you may have insufficient progesterone production in the second half of your cycle. And clinical signs include spotting or shortened phase. MC, miscarriage. This one we all know we don't like. OCP, oral contraceptives, also birth control pills. OHSS, ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. OHSS is when your body makes so many eggs that your estrogen level is high and you have vascular instability and can get sick. It's a complication of IVF that is now becoming more rare. OPK, ovulation predictor kits. OPKs are another fertility awareness method. It's where you pee on a stick to monitor for that LH surge. OV, ovulation. What's your off date? It's the day you ovulate. P4 is our abbreviation for progesterone and progesterone is made from the corpus luteum in the second half of the cycle and it's an essential part of replacement during IVF cycles. PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. You guys know I hate this name because I think it's a really poorly named disease, but it is when you have so many follicles inside the ovary that you get ovarian dysfunction. PCT is the postcoital test. After intercourse, you would take a sample of the cervical mucus and look at the sperm penetration of the cervical mucus. PG, pregnant. That's what we're all going for, you guys. We love the PG posts. PGT, pre-implantation genetic testing. This is where you test the embryos by testing the trophectoderm or the outer portion of the placenta of the baby to see what the genetics are before you implant the embryo inside. PGT used to be called PGS or PGD, but now we put it all under one heading. PIO, progesterone in oil. Oh, fertility warriors, you hate this one. These are intramuscular progesterone shots that deliver the highest boost of progesterone to support those pregnancies and frozen embryo transfer cycles. P-O-A-S, pee on a stick. Have you peed on a stick yet this cycle? That's what this one means. POI, premature ovarian insufficiency, previously called POF. This one is hard. This is when you go into menopause prematurely and you run out of eggs. P-U-P-O, poopo, pregnant until proven otherwise. Seriously, most fertility physicians love this one. I say it's almost every patient after transfer. You are now pregnant until proven otherwise. Take care of yourself. RE, reproductive endocrinologist. That's what we all are. Reviation for a fertility specialist. RPL, recurrent pregnancy loss. This is a hard one. This means multiple miscarriages. When you have multiple miscarriages, you deserve an evaluation to see if we can figure out why. SA, semen analysis. Hey, this is what your male partner needs to do so we can see how his little swimmers are working. SIS, saline infused sonogram. A saline infused sonogram is where we put water into the uterus cavity while we look with ultrasound to have a better idea that there's nothing abnormal inside the uterus. Frequently done to evaluate abnormal bleeding or before embryo transfer. TTC, trying to conceive. Where are my TTC warriors at? This is our common abbreviation for our tribe. TWW, the two week wait. The two week wait is the time from the BD to your next LMP or to your PG test. A lot of abbreviations right there. But essentially the two week wait is the luteal phase. It's after you've ovulated, after you've had sex, where you are waiting to see if you're pregnant now. UPT, urine pregnancy test. Just like the HPT, these things mean the same thing. Pee on a stick. 
US for ultrasound. You may see this also as TV US for transvaginal ultrasound, but essentially means the same thing. Wanda, your new BFF. Guys, thank you so much. I wanted to say a huge thank you to all of my friends, my REs all over the place, who contributed their time by taking those cute little photos with their acronyms. This is just a fun little video to help you understand the different lingo and all the terms that we use in the fertility world. Thanks for all your support and love on this channel. I would love it if you would subscribe or if you would hit the thumbs up button. That helps me spread my message of empowering women with education about their bodies and their fertility to more and more people. In addition, there's always more information over on the podcast. Just search for As A Woman in any of your favorite podcast players. Thank you guys so much. Sending love to the entire fertility community. From your fertility doctors to you, big hugs. <laughs>